Uh, some time ago, a Hollywood newspaper ran an article entitled, Jesus in Film and TV, 13 Devilishly Handsome Actors Who Played the Son of God. And the article showed pictures of all these devilishly handsome actors who played Jesus in movies and television recently. But to tell you the truth, none of them look like Jesus to me. In his letter to the Philippians, St. Paul says that Jesus took on the form of a slave. And that means that if you met him on the street, Jesus wouldn't have been easily recognizable. He would look like someone in the crowd. Jesus may not have been particularly handsome, but of course, Hollywood can't believe that. We're all so sure that looks and appearances and image are everything. Uh, Jesus describes himself as a shepherd, a good shepherd in today's gospel. But uh, I don't know too much about shepherds or what they look like. But from the little I know, they're not a particularly handsome group. They're people who spend most of their time outside in the cold and the heat. They're people who are weather-beaten and scruffy-looking with little time to, to take on their, their own appearances. They're not much to look at. It's a tough job being a shepherd. But the good shepherd cares for his sheep. That's what Jesus does. He cares for his sheep. He cares for his sheep no matter what, whether the weather, cold or hot, he makes the journey with them no matter what, how hard it is. He doesn't abandon his sheep no matter how far they wander away. He searches for the ones who are lost and he looks for others to enter his fold. And that's the way the risen Jesus describes himself in today's gospel from John. I am the good shepherd, he says. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. He's not going to do it for pay. He's not somebody hired, putting in his time, caring little for his sheep, ready to run away when the wolf comes and the sheep are scattered. I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me. He knows his sheep, Jesus says, not in an impersonal way, he speaks and they hear his voice. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, he says, I will lay down my life for them, the Good Shepherd. So let's listen to his voice. He's never far away.